Hi guys, welcome back to Julian's Garden. I'm in the shade now under my car box and my neighbor dog, they got some dogs just barking, barking all the time. Anyway, I hope you can hear me clearly because I don't wear a microphone at the moment. Okay, so we have beautiful weather lately and yesterday and the day before as well. This morning it was so cloudy. I thought I gonna film, film the video this morning at the end. It just um, too cloudy and the camera it didn't catch it, the light of the video. So I I'm decided to filming now at the moment actually in the middle of day. Uh, so the video today I want to share my experience with you how to care for vernina orchid. So as you know that vernina orchids beans are the second uh, most expensive spice in the world. So first we got saffron and the second um, most expensive spices is vernina orchid. Uh, vernina orchid beans, I mean the beans that we use a lot in flavoring in the desserts or in uh, beverages. So this is the first time I grow vernina orchid and I don't have uh, any experience growing them outdoor. I just want to share my experience growing them indoor as a house plant. So for me, vernina orchid is easy to grow. So when you look on the internet, they say um, a little bit hard to take care of them. But for me, uh, I feel they're very easy to grow. I don't, don't need much of attention at all. Actually, they uh, I feel some of the house plants, they are... Uh, uh, more fussy, uh, they are fussier than the um, vanilla orchid bean. I will show you a little bit later. I turn the camera around so you can see my, and they light white light. Now, I put my north facing window where about one meter away from the window sill, and so they really sit nice, some um, nice sun, uh, but it not uh, the sun did not shine to the leaf directly in long hours, around one or two hours in the morning, very early mornings. That's that's it, uh, and they they happy. Uh, but if you don't have uh, uh, the uh, the area that got nice. Uh, uh, the sunshine directly to their leaves like that they can be very happy in the um, uh, in direct sunlight and in the bright windowsill as well so i think they are very easy to grow and i will um water my uh i got two two pots actually two plants i water my once the weeks and I think they're just so easy to grow. So most of the time when you look on the internet or a lot of websites, they recommend to report your, uh, or to grow your vanilla orchid in the orchid mix. And the mix is, they have a lot of wood chips and bugs and of course some fertilizer in there as well. Uh, but I did not actually, or I do not. Uh, when I've got the plants from the nursery, uh, in the spring actually in last spring so a few months ago uh and the plant were over 20 centimeter high like this i report them in the premium potting mix and i know or i read they say they love moist but of course they like uh they like dry out between watering as well uh, so that's why i live in the uh, around um, just water the plant once a week but i find that or i i will feel i feel that if you water uh, or if, if you report in the orchid mist of course you have to water it more often as you plan in the premium potting mix as I do. Uh, and of course, uh, I they say that it they quite of uh, them uh, prone to wood rot as well. So don't water it too much, okay? And to, to let the soil surface to dry out, uh, and then you to water it again. And make sure you got very good drainage hole for them as well. And don't uh, like you know a lot of you guys or I don't know uh, a lot or for me as well then you know when we go indoor plant and we got like a container and where there are no holes at the bottom and then we just snip the black container or the plant in the in the container I found that maybe don't do it that with the over in the orchid because they they don't like wet fit at all because sometimes if you uh if we don't check it and the water at, at the base of the container that where we slip the black container in and the water just stay in there and of course because they like uh, a humidity condition and they like moist so they're quite prone to mini bug as well uh but uh, you just have make sure that you sometimes that you open the windows or sometimes you turn the fan to them so they reduce um chance of the mini bug come into nesting between the leaves and the root of the vernina orchids plants 
All right, I have been talking for quite a while now, and here are the plants. So these plants I got in spring, and they were just down a uh, twenty centimeter high. And as I say, I repotted them, and in the premium potting mix. And as you see, I got some fertilizer for them as well. So they do recommend to you um um orchids uh, fertilizer as well. But in here, I didn't have a a. Uh, orchids fertilizer. I use rose fertilizer actually. So I uh, I use uh them, and every time I water the plants, and of course the plant will get nutrients. And this um structure, I didn't do anything fancy for this plant at all. And of course, I in the future they will go very big. So uh, if you go outside now like in the warm climate, and you let them to crawl on the plants or on the host and then um, like the plants like the host and then uh, you just make sure you're training them up and down up and down otherwise they keep climbing up climbing up and then at the end on the top two tone and you can get them or you can pollinate your vernina organs here uh, at the moment you can see that it climbed like kind of like over a halfway of this little oplis already this one i think I just got in bunnings, uh, and but in the future when I know that it's climbing up all the way on the top here, I will retrain them again. Or re yeah, I will just, like, in uh take this string off because I want to hold them together here, and then I just make them they the vibe go up and down, up and down. So I will have more room for them to grow as well, and they don't mind about that. If you see now like, on the on the picture on the internet you can see now like, in the farm the orchid farm or of orchid uh, plantation you can net, uh, you can see them like the vibe going down and up night like, in the fountain actually let me show you the task of this Bernina orchid plants that they have so it doesn't say much though you can see here they say on the top is real Bernina and they've got a bunch of the beans here that the uh, very promising and the beautiful flower of the vine and uh, this say grow at home in the grass house or indoors this unusual climbing orchid love bright light, not in direct sun. But as I say, you can put your in aura one or two hours of direct sunlight very early in the morning though, uh, if you like. And uh, there's no problem at all in my experience. And can reward you with pale yellow flower and vanilla bean. That is so exciting. And vanilla orchid bean is not nice the other type of your climbing vines that climbing on the trees or climbing on the plants and take nutrients from your plants it not it doesn't take the nutrient from the host it's a uh, epiphyte vine so that means it is climbing on the tree or on the plants but it doesn't take nutrient from the host i hope that you understand and from the time like from uh, or from the seasoning uh, or from the cutting into the time for them to get major to produce uh, the vernina orchid beans for it to have it is take uh, between three to five years and when the time so they when they produce a flower and they are only pollinated by the moth that's um, if you go outside but if you go indoor plant we have to pollinate it by hand and the flower doesn't last long now all of this i don't know much of experience with them at all because at the stage it's the first time and i want to share with you uh, my experience going them as an uh, indoor plant and from the time they produce a flower and got uh, pollinated uh, and they will take between nine to ten months for them to uh, for the pot to get mature as well and the process like to drying and harvesting the vernin the orchid bean is take a long time or that take a lot of hard work, hard work so that's why they so expensive as i say earlier vernin the orchid the beans vine they love warm condition and they love uh, uh, high humidity and they often recommend to unite the spraying bottle and uh, mix them you know this I give them some split and to give them like, some moisture because they they you know on their aerial roots like this they take the moisture and to feed the plant. Uh, but actually I don't do that. I think it also depend on the condition in your house as well. Like if your house if you mix together with 
cho as a house plant uh, if you group them together they often bring them some humidity around it uh, i do put the mice is it two both of these uh, vibes i mix them together with the other plant as well so normally i i don't mix them but sometimes i do bring them outside like i use a hole and water the plant from the top to toe actually and sometimes i bring them outside when it's raining so the rain just washing the dust away and also so fitting the plant, uh, the fitting the area roots of the plant as well. You can see all the roots are just so healthy. Oh, look at that! I think in the future maybe I will try to propagate them from the cutting. You all have root here already, so I think it's very easy, very straightforward. And so I think it just that's it for the video today. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that you learn something new. And this is very new for me as well. I'm still learning. I still like try to figure out what do I need, need to do next. But I hope all the information I share with you. I hope that you 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 can take from uh, uh, what I say or uh, if you, you have a uh, uh, experience from going uh, burning the orchid beans in your area and I would love to hear from you so that's it thank you so much for watching and see you next video bye bye